Welcome to the Storytelling Classroom by Frame 316. In this episode, we are going to talk about social media strategies for small business owners. And you will be joined by the founder of The Fashion Pulpit, and he will share with us some of his strategies in building his brand on social media. My name is Robert and I am a full-time content strategist and a storyteller and this channel is all about helping business owners kickstart their content marketing and we do lessons, interviews, and content on marketing, branding, social media, and video production. Ray, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us more about what you do here in the Fashion Pulpit. Okay, so hi everyone, I am Ray, the founder of the Fashion Pulpit. So Fashion Pulpit is a pre-love um, swapping retail shop where we um, would want to maximize what we have in our closet and at the same time lessen the textile waste here in Singapore. So what we do is um, if you have fashion items that you no longer use that are in good condition, you can drop off and in exchange you get points and points is what you use to buy whatever is in our shop. So essentially it's a swapping and um, you are not hurting your wallet if you participate in swapping because you're not spending so much money if you are getting pre-love that are in good condition. In essence, you're also building a community, right? It's not just like buying and selling business. It's also a community of fashion lovers. That's one thing that we would want to build. It's the community who cares about fashion at the same time who cares about the environment as well, our planet. So we can still be fashionable without hurting the planet. Since you mentioned not just being fashionable but also caring about the planet, can you talk about you know creating a positive change through this zero waste initiative? And I think a lot of people should hear about this. And you know, can you just explain what like a zero waste initiative is? It all started because fashion is the second most polluting industry, and we it's the main problem is overproduction and waste. So we have already so much good items that is existing. And what happens is 20% of what we have in our closet, that's what we use. So 80% is a waste. It's a waste for yourself, but for some people, it would still be functional. So we would want to promote the zero waste by not throwing your fashion items, but giving it a second life, not to you, but to other people. So you give it to us, we do the curation, and the other members will come and they might love it. So it's not being put into the landfill. So that's essentially the life cycle that we would want to see with our clothes, like prolonging the lifespan. Oh, it's the first time that I've heard about that, that you know, clothes are also one of the leading causes of pollution. I think essentially what fashion is about we project the the good side of it the glamorous side because that's what people that's what where we respond but the behind the scene it's not shared to everyone like a plain t-shirt what you're wearing it would it would need 2700 liters of water which is equivalent to um, two years to three years drinking water of an average person so multiply that to 80 billion garment that we produce every year so how much resources we need so i love fashion but when i discovered that it is um, the second most pollute, polluting industry i just wanted to do something to again to create a platform for everyone who still love fashion because essentially we still need to wear clothes every day and we still need to feel good with what we're wearing we cannot stop everyone from buying but we need platforms that can help us be that at the same time not producing more problems in the fashion industries. For us to discover that we need to have that education of how clothes are made so that's why in our space as well we do workshops and um, talks to just spread awareness of what's happening or how things are produced especially in fashion. Our responsibility is not just to buy products. And not wear just it, to, right? yeah, Exactly. We have the responsibility as well how to take care of that product at the same time the resources that needs to um, that we need to produce that specific dress that you would want. So we would want that kind of relationship and engagement between the clothes that you wear and the person who is buying. It all boils down on the responsibility of owning yeah. 
fashion, right? Yeah, so. because I think fashion has become just so accessible to us and so um, affordable that we no longer think of that, of, of why we're buying. We just buy because we can, but we're not really asking ourselves, like, do we need it? A lot of brand owners like yourselves, you know, uh, they focus a lot of their efforts on running the business and missing out on the like the marketing side of things and also which is social media and i think your brand having a very interesting and inspiring message is you know you have a lot of story to tell right so as part of your routine in running your business how do you find time to come up with this yeah. ideas so i mean social media is a very um, important tool for us to spread what we're doing because in this space it's only as much people we can reach like those who are here walk-ins that's where the social media plays part and it's not just because we would want to have social media and it's not just because everyone is doing it it's uh, it's our way to communicate what we are and pretty much our content is we listen to what our good customers would want to see and their stories of why they have become a big fan of swapping so that's what we translate into our post so when other people sees it it's more relatable and they can see that oh i can i can also do this so for you as someone who's running this scale of business uh how important is authenticity and you know being real people would tend to shut down if you just like um, make them guilty of what they're doing because that's that's how human being function we shut down if we if someone will tell us that we're doing something wrong but we we want to mix it between the two with like empowering them at the same time reminding them that like hey we need to do this so it's a mix you know what insights can you give to a small business owner based on your experience in terms of you know tapping in the potential of social media as a communication tool it's it's very cliche people say um, say a lot of, of this um, what's this um, tip but it's always it always works out listening to your customers and understanding what they need and why they're coming and why they're um, you know buying your stuff or like enjoying the service that you have it's it's the best way for you to um, predict the need of, of your customer at the same time what they need in the present for me also in my experience as a strategist as a consultant you know the more people the more business avoids the cliche the more they fail because there's a reason why things are cliche in business because it works yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are saying it over and over again because it works so it just makes sense you know, you know to keep saying it right so yeah I can consider you as a social entrepreneur mm -hmm. you know this is not just a business pro for right. profit thing so you're a social entrep if the natural business is like 80% <laughs> challenging I mean social entreps are really you know, it's More, really hard yeah. so you know what drives you I think is for us um, when we started the business it was not because we wanted to have a business it, it was the reason why we're doing it it, it was because we would want to help to at least you know create that easy platform for everyone to be part of the solution in not making fashion the first polluting industry and we've seen we've seen that there's there's a lot of potential for us to do and there's still a lot of things to be done that's the reason why we we're still pushing because we're not even there of what we would want to see because at the end of the day we would want to see a change of behavior um, when it comes to our consumer um, consumerism pattern thank you for you know providing those insights i'm going to give you you know time to uh, you know, if you have an upcoming event, if you have a promotion. So, um, if you guys are based in Singapore, um, we're located at Liang Court, um, second floor. Um, we just don't do swapping, but we also do a lot of workshops and talks. So, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you, Ray, for joining. And Thank you for I hope me. this short interview will help your brand explode to like a million followers <laughs> <laughs> yep
Now for the question of the day, what sort of content are you posting on your social media? A lot of people in the community will benefit from this, so connect with me on the comment section and I will be giving you my feedback in a blink of an eye. Thank you for watching Storytelling Classroom by Frame 316 and I hope to see you in the next episode. And please subscribe for more business strategy content like this in the future.